Ryan. Not now, yeah? You need to hear this. It's about court. I'm pretty sure you're not meant to be talking to me. I've passed on what you said in the pub about Daisy onto Justin's lawyer. He said that Daisy's history of lying and manipulation will help his case. What? I'm sorry, I really am, but Mum would have wanted... Justin's my brother. I, I deserted him before. It's my fault he's like this. She played us. You spied for him. I, I just wanted you to know so that you can expect it. I didn't want you to... After everything you've been through. I'm sorry. Rise. Good afternoon. Please be seated. We are here today to hear proceedings against Justin Rutherford on the count of grievous bodily harm with intent to commit grievous bodily harm. And over the course of this trial, I will detail the full extent of Mr. Rutherford's campaign of harassment. Demonstrating just how much the criminal justice system failed Miss Midgley by not granting a stalking protection order. Because make no mistake, this was a serious failure. A failure which led to Mr. Rutherford being able to plan and carry out an acid attack, intended to not only cause unimaginable pain, but to maim and disfigure. In carrying out this attack, Mr. Rutherford not only injured his intended victim, but also caused permanent life-altering injury to Mr. Connor who's trying to come to Miss Midgley's aid. Okay. Okay. I ask okay, you to judge on. Mr. Rutherford purely on evidence. A trial like this where two parties have such a disagreement over the events, where there are no witnesses to the events other than those two parties, must be judged on undisputed evidence that actually happened. So I ask you again, judge only on the evidence that is presented to you by myself and by my learned friend, and by what you hear in court over the course of this trial. Thank you. Why is she banging on about evidence so much? Because, because the protection order wasn't granted, she's going to say that it's only evidence that counts. Everything else is hearsay. But that's toppless, isn't it? Because there's loads of evidence of what he did. All the text messages, all the witnesses of what he was doing. What have we got for the actual attack, though? Nothing. I mean, we can't prove that he bought the acid. There's no fingerprints, there's no phone records of him being there. No. No. Well, the jury will take one look at Ryan and then see all the evidence they need. 